Hi everyone, welcome back. In this session, I am continuing sequential output tracing. This is different model of problems as comparing with previous sessions. Uh, let's see the what is the information which is given. Here, given an input. Input is given followed by a coding machine generates a passcode. So, here there is a coding machine which generates a passcode for six batches uh, every day as follows. Uh, total six batches according to the question and the input is given and the coding machine which generates a particular password and we need to identify based on what logic it generates the passcode we need for each and every batch that is a very important logic we need to identify here the batches and passcodes are given this is the given input this is the given input and uh, batch 1, batch 2, batch 3 and the process of uh, taking all these batches are consideration until 6th batch until 6th batch but here it is given up to only 3rd batch we need to write uh, up to 6 batches first uh, once you know what is the logic he is using to write each and every batch you can apply the same logic for each and every question as well as for the remaining batches also first of all i will take the input i will take the input here the input is let us take a instead of writing all these uh, in terms of words it is better to write in terms of uh, short notes let us take the input is uh, a b c i am considering each and every word as single letter a b c d e f g total seven words are given i am considering in this manner this is the input a b c d e f g this is the input which is given and uh, first step first step is uh, u u is nothing but a after that questions that is g next should b next one off off is nothing but f and next one no that is c and next one type e and last about about is nothing but d similarly step 2 what is step 2 here about about is nothing but uh, D. About is nothing but what? D. And next one, U. Next one, U. U is nothing but A. After that, type. Type is equal to E. And next one, questions. That is G. And next one, C. And uh, next one, should. That is B. And uh, next one, of of is nothing but f now if you identify the logic what is the logic he is implementing for each and every batch once i will write a uh, step 3 then we can uh, observe the logic among these three steps uh, here it is uh, about uh, about is nothing but what uh, that is d and next uh, of of is equal to f and next uh, u that is a and next one is uh, should that is b and next one is uh, type type is equal to e after that no no is nothing but c and finally that is questions questions is equal to g here this is step 3 now we need to write up to six batches so i i have to write batch number 4 batch number 5 batch number 6 so first of all uh, I need to identify the logic for these uh, uh, three steps. What is the logic he is applying? Here the logic is uh, initially first he is writing first letter after that first word and after that last word. Second word, next one, second last word. This is first word and this is last word. This is second word and this is second last word. And next one is third word, third last word. And after that, uh, fourth word. And uh, this is the final one. Here also same thing. Here, this is uh, last one. This is last letter. This is first letter. And this is second last letter. This is second first letter. This is third last letter. This is first, uh, 
third first letter after that uh, this is uh, f that is the remaining one here he is doing this process in alternate format he is doing the same process in alternate format initially first and last after that second second last third third last and so on after that last first second last second first that is the process here he is applying the first last combination first and last combination now here you need to apply last and first last first last one is g first one is d second last c after that second first f third last e next third first a after that b and next one you need to start with first first is g and uh, uh, last is b second first d second last that is a next uh, third first that is c and uh, ending onwards third one that is e finally which is f here you need to start with the ending one ending one is uh, f and starting one is g second ending one e second starting one b third ending one c third starting one d and finally which is a now these are the six steps uh, according to the logic uh, here first in the first step he is taking first letter and last letter second first letter second last letter third first letter third last letter and so on and in the second step last word second uh, first last word and uh, first word last word first word second last word second first word third last word third first word and so on right the same thing is happen for remaining steps also now the question is this is uh, and uh, there is some more information which is also provided the first batch begins uh, work at 10 am each batch here the first batch is starts at 10 am and each batch is uh, work for one hour that means 10 to 11 10 to 11 there is a rest period of one hour after fourth batch after fourth batch there is a rest period of one hour so this is the batch one after that 11 to 12 pm after that 12 to 1 pm after that 1 to 2 pm here after fourth batch there is a rest period here the rest period is from rest period is from 2 to 3 rest period is from 2 to 3 so after that you need to take this one as uh, here it is uh, it starts with 3 3 to 4 and finally it is uh, 4 to 5 pm this is very important uh, here once you got this one it is very easy to get the answer for each and every question once you got this table the remaining all these questions are very easy to identify the answer see here the question is if the input of day is input is given as uh, this one this is the input input is nothing but uh, as we all know that input is a b c d e f g this is the input then what will be the passcode for batch 3 batch at 3 pm batch at 3 pm batch at 3 pm is nothing but batch number 5 at 3 pm batch number 5 will be there so here at uh, batch 5 the code is g b d e this is your answer g b d a c e f here g is equal to circle first one must be circle so you can eliminate first option and uh, third option after that next one is b b is equal to friends so you can eliminate option b also second one is uh, friends after that uh, sitting right this is uh, g this is b and this is uh, d after that uh, 8 that is a and next uh, r r is equal to c n is equal to f after that uh, e and f right now once check it out whether it is following the same logic or not uh, 
G B D A C E F. So option D is the right answer. Why we are checking option D? Uh, because uh, there is an another option. None of this. Because of that reason, you need to check it out option D also. Uh, if there is no none of this directly, you can keep your answer as option D without any hesitation. Let's move on to the next question. See here. Here, uh, passcode for the batch uh, sixth batch on a day. Here, sixth batch passcode is given. What was the input of that particular mission? We need to write the input. Input is nothing but what? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. This is the input. And uh, sixth batch passcode. Once go to previous slide. Here, sixth batch passcode is uh, F, G, E, B, C, D, A. F, G, E, B, C, D, A. Remember this one. F, G, E, B, C, D, A. F G and uh, E B C D A. F G E B C D A. But we want input. Input is nothing but A B C D E F G. Here A is equal to number. Here the sentence must starts with number, so you can eliminate option D. And next one B again is the. Againest, so you can uh, eliminate second one should be againest. You can eliminate option B and uh, C. C is appropriate. So here third one is uh, appropriate. You can eliminate option C also. You can check it out the remaining also. Why? Because whether it is uh, satisfying the answer or not, we have none of this option. Here it is appropriate. This is A. This is B. This is C. D is equal to serial and uh, E. E is equal to answer mark F your your is equal to G. That's the answer. So option A is the right answer for this question. Let's move on to the next question. See here. Aniket wanted to batch a uh, batch four PM on a day with a passcode. Here batch four passcode is given. And uh, however he was compelled to work uh, at batch. 12 p.m. on that day. What is uh, his passcode then? Here, first of all, what is uh, batch uh, 4 p.m. batch? Once go to first slide. That is batch uh, time is at 4 p.m. At 4 p.m. the batch is uh, this one. Here, uh, batch 6 is uh, 4 p.m. batch. So you can go with uh, this code. The given information for that question is uh, the logic is F G E B C D A. F G E B C D A, right on there. F G. Here it is given as F G E B C D A. But here the question, what he is asking is at 12 noon on the day. 12 noon. We need to find the passcode at 12 noon. At 12 p.m. 12 p.m. the batch is third batch. Third batch passcode is D F A B E C G. D F A B E C G. That is batch three. D F A B E C G. Write down here. D F A B E C G. This is batch at 12 p.m. Batch at 12 p.m. is this is answer. D is equal to was. It must starts with the uh, was. So you can eliminate option A, option C, option D without any hesitation. Once check it out uh, whether it's satisfying uh, the batch uh, 12 uh, 12 p.m. batch or not. Uh, D F A B E C G. Here D is equal to was, right? F is equal to sentence. F is equal to sentence. Uh, here, F is equal to sentence, but he is uh, given as uh, uh, executed. So it is not following the same logic. Uh, so this is also eliminated. Your answer is uh, option E. Option E is the right answer. That is the reason why you need to check out whether this particular thing is uh, satisfying the given condition or not. That is the reason. Okay. Last question in this session. See here. What will be the input uh, 
we need to find the input input is nothing but obviously a b c d e f g that is the input and uh, here the information is given for pre rest batch pre rest our batch pre rest our batch rest batch is rest pre rest in the sense uh, before rest that is batch number pre rest pre rest batch here once you look at this one pre rest batch pre rest batch is nothing but fourth batch fourth batch code is gd cf eab gd cf eab write down there gd cf eab c gd cf eab this is a pre rest batch pre rest batch now we need to write the input input is nothing but uh, a b c d e f g this is the answer this is our required answer first of all uh, what is a a is equal to fill it must starts with fill so you can eliminate option a and c after that uh, next uh, up so you can eliminate option d also next uh, c your this is a this is b this is c and next uh, information this is d and next one on that is e and next uh, f and this is g right so option b is the right answer for this question guys i hope you enjoyed the session thank you thank you very much for watching